well till my brother is all done cleaning. So we are now doing something a little bit different that I have not ever done in this game ever, but we're actually getting, doing a blueprint off of Google and we're bringing a little bit of twist and trick back from the 1960s. Now if you guys have not known, I am becoming a reborn artist. I, I love everything baby. I love to see, I would love to look into the past and lately I have been so fascinated in how the older cars were made and how the older car seats were actually done back then and how dangerous it was back then for even any anyone to be riding in any kind of car back then but i always thought as how was it living back then how was the houses made how was everything done in canada um i was i was born in the 80s uh actually mid 80s and um my husband was born in the early 80s 1980 so we never actually witnessed ever witnessed the 1960s like our grandparents did like our like our parents did we we never witnessed any of that so we're we're right now in sims 4 for a little bit and um i've been working on this offline without really nobody really noticing what i was really doing and i thought you know what i should actually show you guys what i'm making um now, if you guys were thinking, like, why why a lot of these entries was like this, but this is actually a lot of the style of entries was like this. Um, I'm actually trying to figure out if we can find a better um, arch, but back then, a lot of the arches was just like this. Um, so I'm thinking, like, let's try this. Um, but no, this is actually back in the 1960s. A lot of homes was done the, the, like this if for a reason, I think you can say, because um, it was just more simpler back then. Times were better. Uh, times weren't as tough as it is now. But, you know, actually, I can actually contest to that, guys, is life isn't as easy it was back then as it is now. And life's the same as probably as it was back in the 1960s. Or it could even be worse, because... Um, people are still homeless and people still don't have jobs and people still don't have places to live. And that's really sad of how we can see our poor country have become basically nothing again. And it's just horrible to witness this in, in, in our lifetime even. So what I'm just trying to do is figure out what we can do. Um... Okay, I like that, but that doesn't screen the 1970s. Um, if you guys don't know this, is I, I live in Canada, so I live in a very cold province. So back in the 1960s, a lot of people would have this usually just to walk in, knock at the door, seeing if anybody was actually home. And sometimes people were home and sometimes people were basically outside. So that's why there's actually, uh, let's see here. Um, that's why they basically had um, a little, uh, basically a little porch that had, um, that was actually covered by from the snow. Um, also, I remember back in the 1960s how my mom used to say they used to sit in the porch and watch for the school bus to come. So, you know, um, that's what my grandmother said, what they used to do. So, uh, and back then they really didn't have school buses, so they had like little buggies or whatever, but still it was the memory that she shared and it's the memory that she shared to me. So it's nice that I'm actually experiencing this even on a video game. So, um, yeah, I might have to use the Prairie Post and I like the Prairie Post because it actually brings a lot of the Prairie to the to the game itself um if you guys also don't know is i was also raised in a small town mainly all my life uh so was my husband what do you need okay and oh what's going on you might have a job Sorry guys. <laughs> um, Tim, my husband, might have might actually finally have a job. 
Okay, so, all right. So a little bit of backstory is 1960s never really... Del- they did and they did, but they actually had cars. And they also had um, garages and stuff. Uh, but some of these houses didn't have them, so they usually parked their car out in the out on the block. And that's how simple it was back then, you know? Where I'm, I will be putting a carport right here. Um, and we'll look see if there's any older style cars. I will be using a lot of old shutters for this build. I'm even probably going to put um, a window here. Oh, well, actually, we'll see actually how it looks. That looks stupid. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, I don't know if they actually had a shutter there. I'm actually going to look at my picture. Yes, they did. But they had no shutters on the side. So if you guys have never ever seen a house from the 1960s, um, back then you could basically buy a house for 1749 was how much this one was. So back then was $1,049, guys. That's a lot of money back even for anybody back then to live and to have a house like that. And it's just magnificent that they would have houses for that cheap and I just love bringing back the memory and I think if my dad was alive he would actually really enjoy what I'm doing in this game okay so what I'm gonna do guys is um, this is actually an ensuite bathroom so I'm gonna put two windows there this house actually never had an ensuite but it's okay so we'll just we'll just add an ensuite The only reason why I'm adding an ensuite is this is the millennium, so this is a little bit different now than it was back in the 1970s. The 1970s, they never they never believed in um in a house that basically was like this. They believed in um, homes were basically meant for living in and not meant for relaxing. So um, they also believed that if you're going to have a house you're going to have something that's that you basically can basically live and be a, a normal family but the sad part is a lot of families didn't ever have that option um also this house does not have this does this house does have sort of have a basement but the sad part is is i don't care for basements but the bad part is, is if i do put a basement in um this master bedroom will have no closet and if they if we end up taking the this out then it will actually have a closet but I think uh, a mom and dad even on the Sims should actually have the ability to have a bedroom and a bathroom hello welcome welcome So this, since this is actually a bathroom, um, we're just going to leave that there. Give me a minute. I'm just going to grab my phone here and... Um, games a lot how are you doing buddy long time no talk all right I'm actually gonna go down I'm actually going to go down and build basements and the basement's gonna have some very cool stuff in the basement it's gonna be dark and dreary and and scary and it's gonna be awesome
Hope you guys did not know this back in a couple years ago, I used to live in a small town called Delisle, Saskatchewan. And back then I was in high school and I was actually, I had a little, it's actually it was a wartime home and it was amazing. I loved that house. It was beautiful. It was spacious. It was magical. It was, um, it was a really nice place to be, to live and prosper and grow. But the sad part is, is I had to move away from it because of a, a very abusive relationship that I was going at the time. Um, I used to live in a wartime home that was actually bought by, I bought through the Sears catalog itself. And it was just amazing. I loved living in that house because that house just had so much character. And I remembered when um, the kitchen was so small, like we would have a kitchen and then after you basically walked out of the kitchen, you're dealing with, you're basically dealing with, um, basically you had a kitchen, you had a dining room, and then you had a small, you had a, um, a small, uh, uh small living room very small bedrooms and you couldn't even live <laughs> a queen size bed wouldn't even li li sit leave and wouldn't really be okay in this bathroom so this bedroom so it's it was pretty bad okay so one two Oh, wow, that's actually really perfect, but then the closet's still very small. So I need to push. This kitchen's going to be very, very, very skinny, but it's okay. I'm going to have to make the rooms adjustable anyways, so. But the kitchen's not going to be this skinny. I'll push I'll push it back this way. Give me a minute star games a lot. What do you mean you started a clan?
Okay, cool. There you are. Hello, how are you doing? Fine. Perfect. Are you all done what you got to do? Hell yeah. All right. So, everyone, ladies and gentlemen, please, please uh, say hi to my favorite brother, my best friend. He is, like, awesome dude. <laughs> um, he's a pretty cool guy. <laughs> he loves his music, guys. All right, anyone. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you guys the way I have it set up for now. All right, we have a closet here. And I'm going to be getting off of this so I can go play Neverwinter with my brother. Stay tuned for that one. <laughs> uh, we got closet here for the, the husband and a closet here for the wife. We got the basement right here and the basement is going to have um basically a washer and dryer and what other stuff's down here um i think that's about it and then we will have more story time about the 1960s when I come back on later. So hit that like, subscribe, button down below, guys. Um, I hope you guys like this so far. I, I really enjoyed coming live to you guys. Um, Sir games a lot, by the way. Uh, if you do play uh, Neverwinter, hit me up. Um, I have a successful guild on there now. All because of my best friend and the guy that he's... He's a great brother. He's an awesome brother. He's awesome. He's cool. But yeah, so if you're not busy... Uh, hit me up, and uh, if you want to play, try it out. It's pretty fun. Alright. Okay, everyone. I'm going to save this. And it's actually a pretty long house. I might actually have to move it to a different lot. Um, yeah. So, I'll do that later. I'm going to save this right now. But this will be part two later on. Okay, I'm, I'm getting on Neverwinter now. By the way, guys, I also have a little bit of another announcement. I am a mom to a little boy named Nathan and a mom to a little girl named Adeline. And, um, yeah, so I thought I'd just announce that. So I'd love to say that. Uh, bye for now, everyone.